Hey guys, Adriano Pesacchetti from Mindrip Real Estate. Welcome to my latest listing and my property tour of this gorgeous second level, one bedroom, one bathroom, one car unit here at the Supply & Co building. As you can see, this beautiful uh, building behind me here at 9 at 15 Davis Street in the heart of Richmond. This was the old concrete and steel factory works building. Um, so the developers that obviously kept this beautiful heritage facade uh, and what they've done is built a sensational development. It's quality through and through. What we're going to go do now is we're going to go through the building. Um, I'm going to show you the entrance of the and the floor of the building. And then what we'll do is we'll take you upstairs. We'll pause it. We'll take you upstairs and we'll show the unit. So as you can see, it's a sensational, very grand entrance. Um, the building actually has a north and a south building. We are in the north building here of the development at Supply & Co. And as you can see, just they, they kept the beautiful uh, for the heritage of the building with the beautiful signage as you can see there. So we're going to pause it up here and we're going to head on up to the level two and show you the units. We'll see you soon. So here we are guys, we're uh, at our unit number 207. We're going to go inside and take a look. And the first thing that you'll see guys is quality through and through. So you've got beautiful ash blonde timber floors, floating timber floors throughout, laminate flooring, which is sensational. Uh, the one thing that this unit does have, being that it is one bedroom, um, it has an abundance of storage, like more than I've ever seen in a one bedroom unit. Just have a look at the storage space that it's got. And there's cupboards everywhere. So there's one, there's two, same cupboard. There's three behind the door. You nook around here. So you've got a nice little either study or eating bench, which is really, really cool. You've got the European laundry, which is tucked behind these beautiful ash blonde doors to match the floor. Have a look at that. The other thing what they've kept is this beautiful black uh, tapware, and that's right throughout again, keeping in the theme of the complex as well. I love this little uh, breakfast bar slash eating slash study. I think that's really, really cool. We're gonna pan around this way. So you've got the beautiful kitchen here. So 20 mil stone bench tops, beautiful black splashback, which again, I love the colors in here are sensational. As you can see, nice deep sink. There are Millet appliances. Again, the developers have spared no expense. So as you can see, Millet appliances. So that's the dishwasher here, which I'll open up for you just so you can have a look. Have a look at that. And the building's only a couple of years old. So I think it was finished in 2019. So the unit's only two years old. Um, as you can see, beautiful Millet gas cooktop here and Millet oven quality. Have a look at that. Beautiful, clean, ready to go. And as I said, the storage space in here is phenomenal. Look at the, how deep the cupboards are. You've got overhead cupboards as well, which are sensational. You've also got LED strip lighting in the kitchen as well, which I also think is really, really cool. Uh, commercial grade um, exhaust as well, which I think is great. And also too, magnetized knife rack, which I think is really, really awesome as well. I don't have any magnets. So I would, they're not magnets, I would have stuck it all. But again, just to tie in with everything and they're on either side. We're gonna pan this way to show you the bathroom. So as you can see, it's quite compact, but again, keeping in theme with the building, lots of space here. Some nice down lights, a good oversized shower there, and it's got a nice rain head shower as well. I love the black tiles, I love the, the dark and the, the white. Um, and it is a semi ensuite, so it's actually uh, a floating vanity, and it's a semi ensuite. So there is a door behind this door, which we'll show you around the other side, um, that acts as your semi ensuite and bathroom as well. Panning around here, and ultimately, guys, this is what you're paying for. So. As you can see, it's open plan, beautiful views, but I wanna show you quickly the master bedroom in here. It's an oversized master bedroom. Again, a really good size. This is a, I'm looking at, it's either, it looks like a double bed, yes, but you could comfortably fit in a queen. Again, more storage, as you can see. And up here, which is great. And also too, you got a nice little cavity here, so if you wanna add TV or whatnot, Again, this unit has storage galore and it's all soft closing drawers as well. There's a nice little window that George can pan around there that you'll be able to see. So that looks onto your private balcony and uh, down lights obviously throughout. And just through here, George, 
if I'll get you to pan quickly around, uh, that there is the ensuite door that takes you in to the bathroom. So as you can see there, which is cool. And then this beautiful lounge area that obviously you have your own private balcony with beautiful views. So those views up back there is the CBD, as you can see, which I think is great. And we're only about two to three Ks uh, from the heart of the CBD. So there's plenty of storage space, sorry, parking space, I should say as well. Uh, the one thing I will tell you about um, just on where we are. So uh, literally just the street behind this building in the back there, that's Burnley Street. So we are literally near the corner of Victoria Street. So Victoria Street has Victoria Gardens right on the corner and that's this building right there. So literally you can walk to Victoria Gardens do all your shopping. Burnley Street, which takes you all the way through to uh, Bridge Road as well. Uh, um, so everything is very, very central. And as I said, you've got obviously um, the CBD in the backdrop, which is really, really cool as well. Um, I don't know why you'd need a car spot. Most people wouldn't need a car spot in this location, but there is one on title. Uh, the other things I will mention, it is split system. It's a Mitsubishi electric split system heating and cooling in the unit. There obviously is um, keyless entry, so you can see who's downstairs. And probably the only other thing I would mention is the door, uh, the windows are all double glazed. So it keeps all sound out, not like there is much sound anyway, but it keeps all the sound out as well. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, the unit itself is sensational. Um, it is going to go to auction. It's about to hit the market uh, over the next couple of days. So stay tuned for the listing. First open will be at the end of the week. Um, vendors are obviously happy to potentially sell this one before auction, but we'd love to get your thoughts and, and get you through this one. Um, what I'd love for you to do, if you like the, this video, I'd love for you to share it to your family and friends. I'd love for you to tag someone who you may, that may be interested so they get to watch this property tour. Alternatively, love the, like the post if you could and feel free to give me a call if you're wanting any further information or wanting to book a private inspection. As always, my number is 0402 055 437. Alternatively, you may be thinking of selling or know someone that is wanting to sell their home right around Melbourne. Feel free to give me a call as always and I look forward to seeing you at one of the open homes. Thanks for your time, guys. Cheers.